welcome back to another edition of Just a Girl. And you know what time it is. It is Ipsy versus, well, nothing this month. Um, I actually forgot to update my credit card information and I did not get my BB5 box this month. Whoops. So, instead of waiting for it to get fixed and waiting for the box to get here and then doing the video, I decided to do the Ipsy September bag now. Uh, since, you know, all the other Ipsy um, videos are coming out, I want to post this in like October or whenever my box decided to get here, so I will just start all over again with Ipsy vs. BB5 in October. Alright, so let's find out what is in this month's Ipsy bag. Okay, so this month's Ipsy bag is actually pretty cool looking. It's this silver, um, fabric-y, like faux leather thing, but it's got some cool little studs at the top. And it does not smell gross like those polyurethane bags, which is awesome because I there was a hair, like a stray hair, going down my arm, and it felt like there was a bug. Gross. So it doesn't smell like those stinky or the polyurethane bags that you usually get because I throw all those out, and it seems like a waste because well, I'm throwing out a perfectly good bag, but they stink, and I can't stand the stench. So if you guys ever see me sniffing the Ipsy bags, I promise you I'm not crazy. I just can't stand that. Smell. If you know what smell I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up and let me know that I'm not the only crazy person out there. Okay, so this month's uh, theme is called Street Style and I kind of want this girl's hair right here. This girl with the blue hair. I really want her hair, but my job won't allow it, so. Alright, so I'm going to open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Okay, the inside smells. I don't know if that smells good or if that smells bad. It smells almost like lavender, and I don't really like lavender, but it smells okay. So the first thing I'm pulling out is Beauty Without Cruelty Premium Botanical Sweet Lavender Lotion. It did not leak anywhere. I don't think. Nope, it didn't leak anywhere, but I can definitely smell it when I open the bag. It's actually not that bad. It's not like your grandma's type of lavender. It does have some sweet notes to it. Uh, it says, Beauty without cruelty, moisturizes, softens, and nourishes your skin for the perfect all-over treatment of youthful looking for, sorry, for youthful looking skin. Uh, emollients of shea butter, jojoba, and kukui nut oil combined with aloe vera to, uh, aloe vera smooth and replenish. Never tested on animals, no animals, ingredients. So this is organic, this is vegan, and this smells like you're in a field of flowers. I'm probably going to smell like lavender for the rest of the night, and it's probably going to bother me because I don't like lavender. Yep. Nope. There's more herbal notes than lavender in this to me, but it, I mean it is really nice skin softening. I don't really like it. I might end up giving this to my best friend who kind of likes this type of smell. I don't know. It smells, now that it's on my skin, it smells kind of like grandma meets kitchen lavender, if you know what that smells like, and I'm not crazy. I don't know. It is, uh, it is really skin softening, though. Okay, so the next thing in my bag is like, and a silica packet, apparently. Silica packet. Keep that away from the animals. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the only thing in here that is not in black, and this is a Pacifica eyeliner in gunmetal. So it's like a silver eyeliner, I guess. I really wish Ipsy would stop sending me charcoals and silver eyeliners because I don't wear them. I got to go check my Ipsy Glam Room thing and see if I put them everywhere stuff like this because I get them all the time and I don't wear them. But it's really little. It's by Pacifica, so it's all natural. This has natural minerals on it. I believe they're vegan. They're vegan, I think. I'm fairly certain they're vegan. I'm not sure. I don't want to open this to test it because I might end up giving this away. Like I said, I don't do gunmetal-y type stuff. By Pacifica. Not sure how I feel about that. Now in my bag, I don't know if you guys can see that, there are three little boxes and all three boxes are black. See? Okay, so we're going to start with this one first. 
this is by Harvey Prince. I have no idea. It looks kind of like a lipstick. Maybe it is a lipstick. I think it is a lipstick. It is not a lipstick. It's a perfume sample. That's a nice size uh, sample. And it's called Hello by Harvey Prince. I don't know how I feel about this. It could grow on me. It's really hard to describe. It doesn't even say on here what's in it. It's got musk, like a cologne type musk. Very light floral and maybe some light fruity notes. I don't know. It's a rollerball, but it's 8.8 .8 milliliters. My cat's over by my candle. And I'm afraid she's going to set her butt on fire. Get away from the candle. So yeah, uh, this is 8.8 .8 millimeters. Milliliters, not millimeters. Milliliters. Uh, it's a nice, actually nice little sample throw it in your purse or something. It smells alright. Okay, this next thing is a BA Bombshell Smooth Criminal Powder. Ingredients, it is straight silica. So before even opening this, I know this is going to be a translucent face powder. If I can get this open without ripping the box. That is what it is. It is straight silica powder. Um, yeah, it's just a white translucent powder. It's great as a setting powder, especially if you're having a really bad oily day. Just lightly, and I mean lightly, put this on because if you're in front of the camera or if you take pictures of anything, you'll see white powder everywhere all over your face. The final thing, this is a lipstick because it says all on the tube. This is by Hikari, and this is in the color Cabernet. Very sleek packaging. Ooh, it's a very nice berry color. Very pretty kind of almost matches my nails. It's got a purple undertone to it. I can't tell if that's a floral smell coming off of this or if it's coming off the two perfume thingies that they sent me. The, you know, Harvey Prince perfume and then that sweet lavender lotion. But I can see myself wearing this perfect fall color. I am not disappointed. My phone likes going off whenever I record videos, apparently. So that was it in my Ipsy bag. Did you guys get Ipsy bag in September? What did you guys get? I've seen in some videos where they've gotten the Pacifica nail polish and I kind of wanted that, but now that I have the Hikari lipstick, I'm actually kind of glad I have that. Um, the couple of videos I have watched, I haven't seen anybody get the Harvey Prince or this Beauty Without Cruelty lotion, so. Who knows? I mean, I've always seen like so many different variety of stuff coming from Ipsy going to different people. And honestly, sometimes I wonder if Ipsy specifically sends out the better products to those people on YouTube that, you know, are higher, higher up there, I guess. Whereas, you know, me, I've been on YouTube for like a year and a half, two years, and I think I've only like just not even hit 100 subscribers yet because I haven't posted regularly and blah 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 blah. Is it a conspiracy theory or what? I don't know. But that is it for the month of September with my Ipsy subscription. Did you guys get Ipsy bags this month? What did y'all get in yours? Did you guys end up getting that nail polish? The one that I've seen is the Red Red Wine and again it's by Pacifica. I'd love it if we could trade because I really really want that nail polish. But I want to keep my lipstick. <laughs> it's not too much to ask. Alright guys, be sure to follow me on all social media sites. So Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at JustTheGirlX826. Also, hop on over to my mommy vloggy channel thing as Navy Wife Life Vlogs. And it's also here on YouTube. Everything is linked down below in the subscription box. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And hit the subscribe button wherever it may be on your channel. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. We forgot I bought it. So I decided to whip it out today, test out my new lighting system and this beautiful little palette and see how it does. So on my first impressions of this, um, I was actually really pleased. I've been loving new